And welcome to another exciting episode of Tucky Brew Review. I'm There's still no reserved. Special K. Domingo. It's tonight we're going to be doing a Budweiser 1933 Repeal Reserve Amber Lager. Just came out. 6.1% 6 alcohol by volume. I was really surprised to see this. Uh, I saw it at Kroger, so I decided to pick it up. Oh man, there goes my bottle cap. Oh well. We are drinking out of That's our Budweiser pint glasses. Oh. Which already you can tell it's darker yeah. than your usual Budweiser. Oh, by the fun. head, it's uh, uh, more khaki than white. Yep. It's uh, you know about the same combination, I'd say. Maybe I like a little the, less. I like the bottles. I love those little snub nose bottles. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're the best, and physically the coldest. Well, maybe not this design, but like the Coors Banquet little grenade bottles. Uh, yeah. It's a caramel, like a caramel amber color. Not mm -hmm. a lot of carbonation there. No, yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's it's a little less than a. Uh, very clear though, very very clear. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of hops going on. It kind of just smells like a sweeter Budweiser. It must be a little bit of amber, actually mickled amber bud. Mm -hmm. oh, so. Oh, head is a khaki, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Trip it up. I, Triple. I was deep in my thought. Uh, I was deep in my thoughts about. So I went to uh, Walmart last night at like 1.30 in the morning. It's got some, oh. some something on the back there. It's kind of weird. It's like funky butter. Like butter that's been sitting in your fridge for too long. It's right at the beginning actually. It's like plastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Like a weird. Does it not taste like plastic at the beginning? These aren't plastic bottles. No. I know bottles. Um, and I know glass. Yeah, that's uh, weird. It tastes like you are eating the little rings that come on six packs. Have you ever had. Cans. You know, at work we have bottled water that sits out when it gets mm -hmm. hot. Yeah. And the water tastes really gross after it gets hot like plastic. That's exactly what this tastes like. Well, that water tastes nasty. Anyways. Yeah, but it tastes like old. Yeah. Like dirty, hot water. And it's. It, Got a weird. And that's kind of saddening too because, like, the rest of the taste is fine. Yeah. It's just that weird. I mean, this can't be too old either. It's not like it aged and it's just bad. No, it just came out yeah, like less so, than a month ago. Um, it's, it's got a nice and malty finish and it's got a nice sweetness to it, um, but that weird plasticky flavor at the beginning there is very off putting. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really yeah. liking it. Um, and, and I want to like it. Yeah. I know, I want to. Too. I was like, oh, this is going to be really cool. Um, and well, of course, I, I just kind of want to like it just because of the bottle. Mm -hmm. It is you know. so nice. It just reminds me of a simpler time. You know. Simpler, um, everything was easier. But there was still a government warning, though. Apparently. Uh, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to go ahead and rate this. Uh, it's a three and a half, man. Like... Mm -hmm. It has the potential to be a good beer, just that flavor up front is way too off-putting to be, um, to make this beer good. Like, could I finish drinking this? Yes. Would I want to? No. Uh, what about you, Mingo? Yeah, I'm gonna give this a four. I mean, it's a perfectly fine beer if you can stand that beginning taste, and but, like, the rest of the flavor is fine. Um, there's nothing really offensive going on except for that beginning part. And it's so bad that it just makes me not want to drink it. And it's like, come on now, you're you're like Budweiser. Like, how can you mess that up? How can you mess that up? Like, come on now. How? How do you get uh, plastic? I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four as well. It it could have been great, guys. It could have been great. But it stopped. Decided to go to the plastic factory. <laughs> Eat a few too many of the free samples, and Let's... I got that plastic taste. Oh, okay. Come on now, stick with the story. Can right? we recommend it? Uh, no. Can we take a moment of silence for this beer? It had so much potential, and it failed. Da, ba, ba. It's the Dreamcast of beers. Da, ba, ba. Yeah, I can't recommend it. No. Steel's gonna finish it. <laughs> It's still. What can you say? You can bet you get a nice plastic decal. Does it taste like a mountain water bottle? 
Uh, coal miner T water? Tyler, Tyler Mountain water? Yeah. Because dr drugs and mining don't mix. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's water for miners. Yep. But I finished uh, out of the, respect. The people who mine, not people under 18, to clarify. <laughs> All right. In case you were wondering. Well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon and oh, yeah, Facebook. Patreon. I'm Special K. I'm Still Reserved. And I'm Domingo. Thanks for, Thanks watching. for watching.